Rosa Kelly, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here today. Um, so today I'm here with a project. This is one of the projects that I created for the digital magazine. This is a trifle grungy journal <laughs> album. It's a little bit of everything and I was inspired by this book that I read called Sarah's Key, which is the story of this little girl, um, survivor of the Holocaust and her uh, trajectory in life and her loss her sadness it really deeply touched my heart and i wanted to create a a trifle thinking about you know like what kind of what she went through and so you will see that there is a lot of darkness on this trifle there's a lot of black i went ahead and stained all the pages around i did some you know like just like stitching i just kind of wanted to capture a little bit of her sorrow and her life so this is a trifle made out of file folders and it was really really fun to to make it wasn't as easy <laughs> because i was um i had this idea but i didn't know how to kind of put it together um using the file folders but i definitely had a lot of fun but i probably made like three different versions of these and i wasn't fully happy with the other ones but i think this one turned out really good um so all i'm using here is a little bit of fabric the file folders and some gold cardstock and i went ahead and emboss this gold cardstock to create some texture and i'm using some different like ephemera pieces from my stash like these are the paper dolls from tim holtz um this little flower i had i have this key here because on her story she always kept a key where she had her brother safe and she unfortunately never was able to come back to you know rescue her brother but she had the key to the place that he was hiding and some pearls over here over here as well and then over here it says friends um she was able to find some good people around her to help her you know after she was able to escape the whole you know things that she was going through um so let me just open this up and give you a little look again i wanted this to look very grungy it's not really you know like cutesy like i typically go for i just wanted to look very distressed as if she was carrying this you know throughout her her journey and so this opens up like this and you can see a little bit of happy colors on this side because as she was a little girl she was always very happy she loved her brother and i just wanted to kind of capture a little bit of her essence in there and then you can see here on this other picture or on this other ephemera piece that i found these are all team holes um how she's a little bit more serious um she was really mature for her age she was only eight years old and her brother was four years old um so on this side of the folder i just went ahead and used some tea dye paper and i am using my sewing machine as you can see to add some little touches um so i went ahead and stitched the whole the whole pages here as a little booklet so we can use this as a journal as well um over here we have like a little um uh, cascading page and this comes out so this is like a little booklet within the trifold and i have some like random stitching over here a cute little butterfly and some fabric in there as well and then we open up this other section so over here as we open up the pages you can see that she i put here just this image of like two girls and two adult ladies um she was able to escape and she escaped with this other little girl and together they found um this family who was really kind and basically took the girl in with them and so i wanted to kind of capture that a little bit and then again here some more pages to journal and then here at the end i put her as an you know like as a grown-up woman here and even though she did get married and she had a son she never truly found happiness she was always grieving the loss of her family and her brother her family never knew 
uh, where she came from or you know what she went through as a kid because it was so difficult for her to even talk about it and so back here i have a pocket and i went ahead and added this card um, that has this gorgeous angel here and i wanted to reflect a little bit of her peace um, in heaven reunited with her family and on this side i found this other image that shows like a grown woman and she's always like thinking and a little bit sad so it is a really sad story i definitely wanted to capture it a little bit because it touched my heart so so much um over here we have a pocket from the file folder i went ahead and stitched this a lot of the stitching i just did for like um to have like a pretty border around but some of these stitchings are actually like connecting the file folders and it's really fun to play around with again this is the third <laughs> version that i came out with that i was happy with because i was kind of struggling with you know how to place the pockets and things like that so here we have this pocket we have this pocket back here and then there's actually another secret pocket on the back and this is a pocket over here as well on this side we also have this other pocket which i am using to just put this in there and of course i'm going to going to um dress up the pages a little bit more as i go through this journal um so on this side here of the file folder instead of stitching it i wanted to keep this open to add maybe more journaling pages i just put them together and add some stitching you can of course do this with staples as well and so that is this trifold i hope you guys like it i do love all the different tag places and secret pockets in there as well um, and i really like how this turned out and i love uh, projecting her life her story onto this journal and so i hope you guys like the walk and i'll see you guys on the next one Bye-bye.